Hi folks, Kenny the Vaping Heed back again with another review. Um, how you all doing? Hope you are all mighty fine and thank you again for giving up your precious time and joining us. Um, today we are looking at this fella which I've been keen to get my hands on for a while. And this fella is the, the Fatality. M25RTE by QP Designs. I've got it sitting on top of the Invader 4, and I am also vaping on my, you know, my favourite juice, me cherry cake dodges. Have you noticed? I've always got to sit and read the label so I remember what it is. I shouldn't have by now. <laughs> what a knocker. But yeah, um, we shall. Uh, Run some B-roll, show you all the, the bits and bobs with it, um, and then we shall probably pop up back up top and uh, I shall give you my thoughts and all that stuff. But before we do that, remember to like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. Keeps me doing what I'm doing. Um, always a pleasure. So, without further ado, let's roll that brawl. Cheers. Shut up and sit down. Right, folks, here we are back again up top. Um, looking at, well, we all know the Fatality M25 RTA by QP Designs. Um, phew, where do I start with this? Apart from it might be a bit of a gush fest. Um, generally, the build quality is second to none, it's unbelievable. Um, the packaging in this kind of build is it kind of gives me a reminder like it reminds us a bit of steam crave there type of thing with you know the magnetic box and all that stuff you know the the flap on that so it's, it kind of you know reminds us of that a bit um this top cap like i say it's reverse thread so basically to loosen you literally got to think like you you're, you're tightening and it comes off and obviously to put it back on the anti clockwise are put off, you know what I mean? So, yeah, it's a strange one that one, but um, I think it's to counter with the way these go. If you turn these in, whatever that's my only thought, but anyway, um, pros and cons with this, um, cons it can be a bit fiddly because you've got you know your top air flooring, your bottom air flooring, your juice, see, above, above this juice control. I think it's back to the old school bit again, but it, you know it's another feature you can control on. But I think that's just a little bit loose, you know. It's it's there, but these seem to have more restriction than this. So sometimes when you're trying to turn that, you're turning that as well. But um, you know the the restriction on them, you know the tolerances on them is pretty good. But I just find that that one's just a bit loose. Um, 
which I think if they tightened that up, it would have been a bit easier with these because it can be a bit fiddly. Um, other cons, probably that open airflow insert. Um, I've seen a few horror stories where where people have dry burned the coils in, they melted it. Um, also, when you come to clean your tank, it's easy maybe for it to come out and you can lose it. See if you run under a tap on the sink, you know, and it pops out, there it goes down the plug hole. Um, and you don't get a spare. So, you know, that's a bit of a con. Um, I would have preferred, you know, the people saying you can take it out and just your powerful air, you know, increase your airflow. I think the airflow is fine on it. Um, obviously, if you shut one off, and leave one fully open it is very restrictive so you know that's the whole idea you have one open you know you but you, you dial in your flavor type of thing that's the whole idea of it Um, i think instead of them i think they should just machine the holes i mean it should just be machined in i think it should be in a solid deck all the holes machined in no worries about the old one. problem solved you know if you want big air it's got a big brother i think it's a 28 mil and that's basically the same without the other and it's just got a big gaping hole in the bottom so there's your airflow so you know you can have one or the other this is a, you know it's a 25 mil and it's, it's hitting that 25 milli market you know it's, just, it's not massive airflow it's it's you know the the, the the trend is now is more restrictive airflow which in turn increases the flavor and that's basically what this is aimed at so i would have preferred if they just machined the deck period and just ditch the ultim you know that that's to me would make life so much easier um well bar that there's not really much else i mean it can be a bit finicky you know when you're fanning on with dial with these you know you might you might turn that one when you turn that one but i mean I, I haven't had any two problems you know too far with it i haven't had much much problems with it um the beauty of this like, like i said we'll come to the pros now is you can dial into your flavor i mean you know you can shut the top one off have the bottom open or you can you know leave the I find if you leave the top one open on its own, it's, it's, it's horrible. You know, there's the flavours muted and everything. So I tend to leave the bottom one open. And maybe just turn that to about a third, if you can see that. And that there is spot on for me. Obviously, it's just your juice flow. I mean, this is a bit old school. You don't see many of these now with the old juice control ring on. But, you know, it's there, you know, for a purpose where you can shut it off when you fill it up. But I've never shut it off and I've filled it up near bother, near leaks, whatever. Um, spot on could be handy for a plane i don't think i see i think somebody's mentioned that if you take on a plane maybe you, can, you know because with the plane with the pressure differences you all tanks just pff, leak you know due to the air pressure but i don't know if they, this would work whether you shut the shut the the juice control off whether that would work on a plane i don't know <laughs> it's just food for thought i suppose um i love this drip tip i think this drip tip is absolutely stunning I mean the way it just tapers and blends in with the with the top cap is unbelievable it's just oh it, it, i mean some people say it looks ugly with this bubble glass on but i don't i think it looks all right um oh yeah the only other downside probably it's a bit tall some people might think it's a bit tall because that's a, a tall tank um for what it is but um i love it I've been waiting this for a while. I mean, I'm a bit late in the party with it. It's been out a month, maybe it's five weeks. Um, but I was just kind of sitting on the fence to just seeing if the uh, the prices would drop on it. And apparently they're still holding. Uh, I think you're still looking anywhere from the region of the 60 to 70 quid mark for this. Um, and is it worth it? I would tend to think so. I know it's been on more on the expensive side, but... At the end of the day, it's like everything, you know, you pay for what you get, you know, the more you spend, the better quality you get. Well, at least that's what you'd expect. And in this, there's just no exceptions. I mean, it is absolutely stunning. The flavour, oh, we'll have a gun. The flavour is outstanding. It's gorgeous because you've got that you know that ability to dial in your airflow how you like it exactly it the flavor is stunning on this um by the way i do have two of the watofo n80 coils in um the 0.17s um this build is coming out about 0.08 
Hence, that's why I've got on this uh, Invader 4. I mean, I've got it down pretty low, like, I mean, I could turn up with it, but at the moment, it's just nice and comfortable. Um, obviously, with this mod, the battery life's unbelievable because it takes the two 2700s or 2700s, whichever you want to get. But, but yeah, what a tank. Absolute. The flavours are, oh. I mean, I've recently reviewed the Blotto and I thought that was good. This Pips, the Blotto, of a flavour. It's absolutely outstanding. Again, because you can fine tune this in with your airflow settings. Um, and your juice flow if you wanted to. I mean, I found like, the first time I wicked it, um, I didn't put too enough wick in. It was like a bit spitty. So all i done was just turn my juice flow down problem solved so it's a bit for it's very forgiving for wicking and building it's a postless deck it's you know you just drop them in the top and it's a doddle absolute doddle to build on um but yeah wow what a tank i'd say this is probably up to now if not it is the best rta of 2019 so far that's i'm going to put my heat on the block and say that i think this is the best RTA are up there with you know the best that's going this year. The blot O was probably the best I thought so far. Um this has pipped that. Um even though the blot is still a fantastic tank, this is pipping it, in my opinion. Um and I absolutely love it. I haven't been able to put it down. Um this is full I think I went through a full bottle of that cherry in this because I just I just can't put it down. It's absolutely gorgeous. Um, flavors mint you know what else can you say um but yeah i know it's a bit pricey but trust us well worth the money um definitely think this is probably like i said if not one of the best of 2019 2019 so far we're in october now so you know still a couple of months left um so yeah after a big gush fest, that's basically what this was. It wasn't even a review, it was just a gush fest. Um, after all said and done, I'll wrap this up. Um, so, like I say, I'd recommend it all day. Um, the shootable uh, beginners, well, it's probably easy to build on. Maybe a bit finicky for beginners, but, you know, I think you'd soon pick it up. But, you know, it's, it's um, pretty much easy to get your head around once you've fannied about it a bit, so... With that being said, I'm going to call this a day. Um, I've been Kenny, the Vaping Heed. Stay safe, vape safe, and I shall see you all very soon in the next one. Cheers. Bye now.